So let's talk taxes and billing. Again, kind of boring stuff, but you gotta do it, right? Shopify, starting with taxes, makes it easy. They do have a lot of inherent features that can calculate these for you. So check this out. Always, always, um, you know, do a quick search on your county and state tax laws. Um, before moving forward. I, I just think that's really important to seek that education. And you will see some defaults in here from Shopify, but you could always do a tax override if something doesn't look right. One good tip, check with your tax accountant. They will know most of these laws and rules, and they will also set you up on a plan of paying uh, these to the government, sometimes monthly, quarterly, or even yearly. So I have to say, you know, uh, none of the info that I'm sharing with you today should be taken as tax advice or legal advice. So let's move on this. Uh, click settings at the bottom and it's, I think it's called taxes. There it is. Boom. So um, under tax regions, you're going to want to set up. I've already set up the United States. Sometimes they set it up for you automatically. So go ahead and click edit. So for the USA, definitely want to calculate taxes automatically. Here's where you can add a tax override if something doesn't look right. My sister's in Texas, so um, basically what you can do is type your zip state name and your zip code in there and add your state. So just for giggles, why don't we type in, you know, California and my zip code here just to show you how this works. As you can see, it automatically added the current state tax rate and the county and municipal taxes here. I'm gonna go ahead and trash this since we don't need it. If you do wanna set up more countries and rest of the world, you can go ahead and click this setup button. That's what it's for. For the most of you, you're probably selling within your own country and this is self-explanatory. Most likely you're gonna leave all three of these unchecked. I wouldn't show all prices with tax included. I wouldn't charge on shipping or VAT. Um, so these are requirements usually for like international shipping experiences. So you're now set up. It's that easy. Shopify does not um, omit your taxes for you. You have to work with a tax accountant and do that separately. Shopify makes it easy under your reports to check how much sales tax you've collected so you can pay it to the government. And again, check with your tax accountant and they can help you get this going. So now let's talk billing. Basically, um, we're getting ready to launch your store and when you launch, you have to pay the man, which is Shopify. So let's go to it. So first down bottom left, click settings and then click billing. Pretty cool, they give you the option to use your Shopify balance to pay your bills. You definitely wanna add a credit card here. To my knowledge, they do not allow debit cards yet, but things change all the time. Now scroll down to this section, this bills section. It's great because they show you all of the past and current billing cycles and what you've been charged, all the history, any credits. You can view a finance overview, so it is all here. But the most important thing is making sure that you put in a credit card here so that we can go live. If you purchase third-party apps or themes, uh, stuff like that will also show up here as well. So how do you get a discount? on Shopify fees and such, if you actually commit to a longer term contract with them, they'll, they'll like one year, two year, three year, if you know you're in it for the long haul, they'll actually give you a better deal on everything. So this store is not on a trial anymore, but if you go back to your homepage at the top, it'll say something like you have 10 days left in your trial and have a button where you can click some options, click it. So when you're on that page, um, you know, you get to pick which Shopify plan you want. That's up to you. But if you pay by the year, you end up saving about a month of fees. So that's where you can save money. You'll basically see a page that looks like this. You'll pick your plan and then it'll give you the totals drawn out over year, two year, three years. And this is where you can actually save a little bit of coin if you commit to a longer term plan. So next we're going to talk about placing test orders and start towards launching our store. We're getting close. 